Good morning, everybody. John here from In The Loop Travel, coming to you from American Queen. And we are sailing on the Ohio River. This is the largest passenger steamboat in the world. The largest paddle wheeler it carries over 400 people. And we will be sailing from Pittsburgh all the way to Louisville. And in this vlog, I am excited to show you exactly what you can do. Things you can see along the way as you visit the towns and cities on the Ohio River. And we started our voyage yesterday in Pittsburgh. So I'm going to take you to some footage there, show you what it was like departing that city and the scenes from our sail away. And then we'll get right back to the vlog. up early this morning having a little look around the ship and uh, first day is a day of sailing on board here on American Queen. We're gonna try to have uh, breakfast today at the front porch. That's one of three restaurants they have on board. Yeah, we're definitely in coal country right here, sailing on the Ohio River. The sky looks great. This is the casual eatery here called the Front Porch. We're here for lunch. Uh, see the inside and outside. It's got some nice views here. Uh, served up buffet style, so we're gonna dig in. Are these for grabbing? Can I have one? Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs>
leaving our cabin here. This is the Eclipse Suite, and I'm gonna have a ship tour and a cabin tour for you in separate videos. I'm gonna link those in the description box below. I'm gonna go for a little afternoon stroll here on deck. There are six laps to a mile here if you wanted to do some walking around the deck on American Queen. And I'm gonna take you over to the fitness center, show you the little gym they have in uh, next to the pool area. There's C Max, you got a head start on me. Not a bad little fitness center. It's even got some free weights over there for you. Looks like they're cleaning out the pool right now. Hopefully we can get that operating later this week and jump in. And now I'm gonna get in a little workout. Gotta be in here every day. I mean, they got that soft serve ice cream and fresh cookies in the front porch, and I just can't resist them. So, gotta earn those calories. I'm gonna do this or uh, check out the bikes they have on board. They have bikes that they carry along on the cruise, so get those off and maybe go biking sometime. I'd even like to go run along the river, river walks, so that'd be something fun to do too, but meanwhile, I earn these desserts, two a day, I'll probably have one after dinner every night, it's crazy. Good morning from Marietta, Ohio. We are off the boat uh, a little bit early today. Gonna get in a run. We wanted to get off and do this as soon as possible because there are forecasts for a lot of showers in the town today. So this might be our best chance to get off while the weather's ideal. So we're gonna get in a run, get back on board, have some breakfast and see what the day brings here in Marietta. All right, finished the run in plenty of time. Not a drop of rain yet, but you can see it's kind of a real foggy morning on the hillside there. I climbed up uh, these steps up the bridge. To get a better view of American Queen here in Marietta. This is at the confluence of the Ohio River and the Muskegon and the downtown Main Street, everything is right off the boat, just steps away. So we're gonna ask some people, I see Colleen down there. <laughs> we're gonna ask uh, some crew on the boat what might be the best place to go have a coffee or I hear there's a crap brewery in town too, so you can be sure we're gonna look for that. Here we are back home. I saw you, you saw me up there? Go get some breakfast. All right. All right, a real pro tip, when you come on these river boats to these small towns and even the bigger cities, you're gonna wanna go to the experts for all the great spots 
Um, we've got Adam, the lead butler here on American Queen, and he is a bit of a coffee connoisseur. So we wanted to ask him what his uh, best tip for where to go in Marietta uh, would be. All right, um, right here actually they have a lot of antique stores and they have a lot of restaurants, beautiful restaurants, and they have good coffee shops. That's my gig. I, anywhere I go, I find good coffee shops. I sit down. Well, I'm from Morocco. All North African or like European, they sit outside in the coffee shop. So I'm one of them. I think I bring with me my... <laughs> My inheritance is to sit in the car. So you have just talked to me for a little bit before we got on camera here, and you had a kind of a favorite here in Marietta for a coffee yes, shop sir. that you yes, like, sir. and that yes, would be sir. up the block a little bit it's, on Main Street. It's two blocks and to the right-hand side, and you will see tables outside. You sit down, enjoy yourself, and they make good coffee too. Okay. I like to help local. Great. That's one thing. I don't go to big branches, but I love a good big chains, but I love to go sit in the local coffee and help them, you know, Wonderful. Yeah, I mean, Colleen and I also really enjoy uh, craft brewery, and we did, think we saw a craft yes, brewery up there the right, as yeah, well. The so side, yes, we're going to yes, maybe uh, show you guys the coffee shops and have uh, maybe go to the craft brewery for lunch and a flight. Thanks, Adam. You're Appreciate welcome. it. Thank you. Enjoy, guys. All right. Bye. So we've lucked out so far, the rains have held off into the early afternoon, so I'm gonna take advantage of the weather here and take a little walk on Main Street in Marietta, Ohio. A first point of interest for people visiting via American Queen Voyages might be this ice cream shop here. Doesn't seem to be open right now, but it is conveniently located right next to your ship. And this is the uh, hop on, hop off bus. Takes passengers on a loop around the city to about seven designated stops. You get the museums. I think today they have a church, a cemetery, and some other points of interest. But for now, we're going to take a walk right up Main Street. The town's Main Street here is called Front Street, and this is a landmark Lafayette Hotel. They have a bar and grill inside there and a coffee shop. Up ahead, I see that brew pub we were talking about. We're gonna pop right in there. There we go, Marietta Brewing Company. Let's head on in.
So we had a nice day in Marietta. Uh, the weather held out great for us, so we were able to enjoy our time ashore. And just after our sail away under blue skies, mostly blue skies, the rain did start coming down as we make our way up the river. So we're gonna start our evening by going to the show in the Grand Saloon Theater, and it's gonna be Phil Westbrook with a tribute to Frank Sinatra. Good morning! It's another beautiful day here on American Queen. The rains have passed, the sun is out this morning. It's a beautiful calm scene here on the Ohio River as we make our way today toward Huntington, West Virginia. The weather is perfect, so I think there's no better time than this morning to try out the swimming pool they have on board. Hey, it's pretty deep, pretty nice pool. We aren't due to arrive into Huntington until about noon, so we have time on board this morning to enjoy the ship so I think we'll do a little swimming maybe some reading and just relaxing till lunchtime we'll grab some lunch and we'll go explore the town we are headed to lunch today we're gonna try the main dining room which has a little bit of a buffet and some menu options as well. They do a breakfast buffet, lunch buffet, then the seated dinner that you saw a little bit of. What do we got today? All these goodies we have here today for lunch. Most impressive is the size of this chocolate cake. Going to do the hop on, hop off tour today to explore Huntington, the American Queen Voyages way. How are you? Good. We can just get on the bus, right? It's, That's right. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Yeah. 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 There they go, we hopped off. Our first stop here is at the Railroad Museum. And uh, let's take a look at the route for the day. We got a few stops, a medical museum, the Railroad Museum, a Rose Garden, and a couple shopping stops. They give you these maps that are very handy so you can go around at your leisure hopping off at which ones seem of interest to you and a little description on the other side for what you're in store for. I also bring the program along with me, the daily programming case. 
There's some stuff I want to make sure I get back to the ship for. And then, uh, they do give you your water bottle, so make sure you fill that up so you have plenty of hydration for the day. Let's go walk on through and check out some of these railroad cars. One of the stops was to the campus of Marshall University. So this is close enough to the port. A lot of the things on the map you might notice are pretty close to each other, might be closer to your boat. So I'm gonna hop out here and make my way by foot back to the boat and see what I see along the way. And we're back. A little day around Huntington, West Virginia. And you get to see how the hop on, hop off works. There is our riverboat. Now apologies, I have been sometimes calling it a ship, I realize, but that's just out of habit. But uh, this is indeed a riverboat. And it's looking pretty nice here on a sunny day, sitting in the Ohio River. Hey there, a new day and a new stop on the Ohio River. Today we are in Augusta, Kentucky, and it is a beautiful day. We've got a long time in port today. We got here at eight in the morning. We won't leave till 11 at night, so 15 hours to explore. We're gonna start our day with a run along the river, and then we'll have plenty more to show you. Sure enough, we have found some real solitude back here on a soybean farm. There's some scummy ponds back here. Very quiet in the morning. It's a Friday in Augusta, Kentucky. So we finished our run and uh, we're right here on Main Street in Augusta and you can see there goes the hop on hop off bus. All the stops today are located really close to the boat. So I would advise people who like to walk can easily walk over a mile or so, are very comfortable and mobile. Don't bother getting on the bus for the first uh, four stops around the boat. The only one you would need to get on for was to head out to the Baker Bird Winery uh, tour that they do out there. But just a little advice to you. We passed the bus like four times uh, really close to the port and we're actually walking faster than it's getting people around. So if you're very mobile, comfortable walking, that might be something to save some of your time. You get to see a little more at your own pace. Colleen and I have got on a couple of bikes today. 
for a little ride. American Queen Voyages carries a fleet of bikes on the ship, so you just check them off if you like to ride around town, which we are doing today in Augusta. How's your bike doing? Good morning, everybody. We wake up on Saturday in one of the final stops on our routes this week in just outside my cabin. We are in Cincinnati. Right at the doorstep of the Reds baseball stadium. I'm particularly excited because they have a Hall of Fame that I can visit for the Cincinnati Reds and they have always been my favorite baseball team so this is going to be a cool day right here along the riverfront. So we got the bikes off the boat again this morning it's just a beautiful stretch of river path you can see there's a lot of people out this morning biking and walking walking their dogs going for runs and we're gonna keep on pedaling and see what we see all up and down the riverfront here in the natty Here we are outside Great American Ballpark and just ahead is the Reds Museum. I'm going to take a look at a lot of the sculpture and features outside here first and then we'll head on in.
everyone, good morning. We are in Madison, Indiana today, and it is raining. You can see it's a little gray and overcast. And it's hopefully gonna clear up, but I'm gonna go down and get in a workout in the gym in the meantime, and then we will try to get off the boat and see what we can do in Madison today. This is the last full day of our cruise, and we will be getting off tomorrow morning in Louisville, and it's been a perfect week weather-wise except for today, so we have nothing to complain about. We've been having a lot of fun on board. So, let's just go ahead and enjoy this day as well. finished with that workout and the gym is just one of several ways you can stay active on the ship you've seen we've been going for runs in port and they've got the bikes as well and it's probably a good thing because the food on board has been delicious we've often encountered our menus at dinner time where I want to have uh, more than one thing I can't decide what I want to have and I've been having two desserts every day of course with lunch and dinner so I've uh, been indulging a bit so it's pretty good that I can stay active as well and you can see also the rains have stopped so that was good timing gives us a chance to go ashore here in Madison where I'll probably go find some more good food and of course some craft beers so they got a little uh, area here with a couple viewing platforms so people can climb up and get a good view of the ship. There's American Queen tied up here. Now we're gonna head into town. We have stopped into the off-Broadway tap room here on Main Street in Madison and we're gonna get a couple beers and then dive into some grub. Looks like some good stuff on the menu here. Here we are, a misty morning in Louisville, and it is the end of the line for us, our week-long voyage on American Queen. And the ship will continue onward the, on the Ohio River and to the upper Mississippi from here. I hope you got a good look at all you can do, all the places you'll see when you travel on American Queen voyages on American Queen. I wanna thank you for coming along on this journey and we'll see you in the next one.